What's going on YouTube team? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I got some latest updates from Flat Panel HD. LG just announced some new monitors right before CES. And we're starting to get some more news coming in because CES is coming in the next week or so, which is kind of crazy. But I want to go ahead and share the news. I am going to put the link in the description if anyone want to read this article. Just to know a little bit more details, but and specifically, it shows here that LG 2025 OLED monitors, they had uh, three W OLED monitors in this lineup. One is going to be a 45 inch. They have here, uh, they have here the code or the model number specifically as 45 GX 950A. The other one is 45 GX 990A, and then that one is going to be bendable. And then with a 5K 2K resolution at a 21 by 9. And then the last one is going to be a 39 inch. And that is going to be a 39X G90SA. I'm getting these little model numbers wrong. 39X G90SA. There you go. With a built-in web OS. So starting with the 45 inch to 950, it posted a future one of the first. It's supposed to be a resolution of uh, 5120 uh, by 2160 resolution, which offers over four times more pixels than the full HD and is a definite upgrade from the 1440p model that they had prior years to it. This one is showing a picture of it, which, to be honest with you, this thing looks pretty sick. It looks pretty good. Uh, from what I can see here. But yeah, this photo right here is the 45GX9. Uh, 950a gotta get these models uh numbers right and it's supposed to have delivered that 5k at 2k which is just uh mentioned in an article but it said it delivers at 125 ppi and they got the rgwb sub pixel layout it's supposed to support the 165 hertz with the dual mode and it's supposed to support and can also achieve of wow 330 hertz which is uh, half, the, half the resolution. It features both the HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.1, as well as USB-C with a 90 watts power delivery. And then it just talks about, it supports HDR, and it's supposed to have like a Curve 800R. So when it comes to the Curve monitors, I do have here my um, Samsung Odyssey 7 over here. And that one is curved. It's not really bad, but some people may not like that. They want to more have a flat type per, uh, panel. But looking at the screenshot here, and this looks pretty sick. I, I mean, I think it looks really good. And I know I'm going to be in the market soon of replacing my monitor. And LG is going to be the top of my list from what I'm looking at here. But they also go into more detail about is uh, LG's plan to launch its bendable version. Uh, of the 45 inch and it'll be known as the 45 GX 990A and then it just talks about here in his a uh, little bit marketing terms is that LG Ultra Gear OLED bendable gaming monitor uh, is the world first 5k 2k resolution bendable OLED display the 45 inch monitor can smoothly transition from completely flat to a 900 R curvature within seconds and offering users incredible flexibility and more control of their gaming experience, said LG. So like the 45950A, the 90A will feature a dual mode with LG Explain has been expanded in the 2025, also allows users to easily switch between resolution and refresh rate uh, presence and customize the aspect ratio and the picture size, which is a really cool feature to have. And then LG refers that the two new 45 inch monitors as the GX series. And then the last thing here is, is that we got the 39 inch GX 990SA model numbers again with the built-in web os another new uh, wr led w oled monitor is the 39 inch curve and it's supposed to be lg calls a smart monitor due to include the web os platform so if you look at the other previous monitors you never uh, you never see that lg included web os but this one seems like they're going to have it on this particular model and it's supposed to help when it comes to streaming and cloud gaming which is a, a 
great fe uh, feature to have. And then with uh, not yet marketed as an office monitor, it is positioned as one all-in-one home entertainment hub. So HDR support, 21.9 aspect, aspect ratio, a feature of 240 hertz, refresh rates, VRR, free sync, G-Sync, offers HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, USB-C, type C ports and then a monitor is supposed to be available in 2025, which is pretty much self-explanatory right there. But I just want to go ahead and go show these pictures. I thought this was pretty interesting. I thought this was pretty cool. Just the only reason I thought this was cool is because now we're starting to get more information at CES and this news just came out as I'm recording this December 30th. So yeah. So the question is, I wonder what they're going to do with the other TVs. Are they going to announce the TVs right before CES? I don't know and stuff. And then we talked about that in the stream as well, too, that LG is really pushing out the NITs and their G5 series and hopefully maybe the C4. But besides that, it's just, it's good news. I mean, looking at this monitor, going back and looking at it right now, yeah, this is a really nice looking monitor and something that I'm really thinking about maybe picking up. I don't know. We'll see and stuff. But just looking at this right now and talking about the features that I have right here, it's pretty much tick all the boxes that I'm looking for in the monitor. The reason being is because on my Samsung Odyssey, it's a 1440p. It's great. I have a 27 inch monitor and you can't see it right now because the camera is facing towards me. But that monitor is, I had that monitor for quite a long time and I think it's time for me to go ahead and upgrade. But yeah, let me go ahead and end this video. I had to do this while, uh, when I was just looking at the news earlier today and I was like, I got to report this. And so, oh yeah, don't forget, you know, the Lions are playing today and stuff. So uh, let's see, hopefully they win today. I don't know. It's going. It's definitely. It's definitely going to be a battle today, especially going against the Forty ers So, um, yeah, wish us luck. But besides that, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the latest update from LG when it comes to gaming monitors. Are you thinking about picking one up? What do you usually use those monitors for? Because I know I do a lot of gaming from time to time, but also I do a lot of design work as well too. And I'm probably going to touch upon that in another video because I do want to talk about a little bit about my life because I do a lot of web design and mobile apps. And that's primarily why you see me with the MacBook all the time because I know a lot of people say, well, you don't have your own custom PC. I do uh, build custom PCs, but a lot of my work is on my Mac and doing design like uh, UX, UI, uh, UI designer and stuff. So I'll talk about that in future video videos, but it's just looking at this technology and seeing what the latest leaks are. Uh, man, this is, this is really good news. So now we just got to see what other news is going to be coming up. And then, oh yeah, Sony did do another video. And I don't know, I think they may release their videos talking about the latest TVs that's going to be right before CES starts. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, let me go ahead and end this video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about the LG, uh, LG latest updates. And if you could do me a favor by hitting that like and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.